The next generation of renewable energy projects in the U.S. requires next generation technology in order to build it. Meet Orion, the big green behemoth deployed to the U.S. from Belgium to lay foundations for a giant wind farm in the sea, 35 miles off the coast of Massachusetts. Sporting a 5,000-ton crane and nearly 60,000 horsepower, Orion can carry payloads of up to 30,000 tons. The specialized floating installation vessel began work in June near Martha's Vineyard. Designed by offshore energy and marine infrastructure contractor Demi, Orion is poised to play a crucial role in the Biden administration's green energy push. This is about building a new uh, energy infrastructure in, in the United States that doesn't rely on the burning of carbon and that you know can help us address the climate emergency. Without vessels like the Orion, we wouldn't really be able to build offshore wind. Alongside a vast team of support ships, the 700-foot-long vessel will erect 62 turbine foundations for what will become an 800-megawatt wind farm, expected to generate electricity for over 400,000 homes and businesses in the state. The Vineyard Wind One project will span 160,000 acres of open ocean, making it the first large-scale offshore wind project to be developed in the U.S. Once up and running, experts believe it could help reduce carbon emissions by over 1.6 million tons per year, which would be equivalent to taking about 325,000 gas-powered vehicles off the road. Here in Massachusetts, they're, they're procuring more offshore wind. Their, their next solicitation is going to be, you know, somewhere around 2.4 to 2.8 gigawatts, which is 28,000 megawatts of power. And to put that into context, that's about 25% of all the electricity that the state of Massachusetts uses. As Orion and its crew labor to erect this massive renewable energy project, the vessel itself will be utilizing green energy technology to operate during the construction process. Orion runs on alternative cleaner marine fuels. Additionally, a waste heat recovery system converts heat from the ship's exhaust gases into electrical energy, while a cold recovery system uses the evaporation of liquefied natural gas to provide air conditioning to the crew's quarters. While Orion is employing green energy tech in its vessel operations, the construction itself becomes noisy work Work, which also calls for a creative, environmentally conscious solution. In an effort to lessen the impact on local marine life, a veil is going up around the working area. These are bubble curtains, deployed as a kind of shield to absorb and dampen underwater construction noise, sounds that may affect those swimming nearby. It's a device that literally creates a cone around the work area and funnels uh, a very strong current of bubbles up, which acts to kind of minimize and, and allows it to kind of uh, dampen the sound. Bubble curtains are created by placing large perforated hoses around the area where a turbine is set to be placed. The hoses are filled with compressed air that escapes through the holes, creating a barrier of bubbles, mitigating some of the noise and reverberations of heavy machine work. Several different species of whales, fish, and sea turtles all inhabit the area where these turbines are being built, and disrupting them is something that Demi is trying to avoid. Demi is supporting uh, the effort in order to make sure that we're not having any negative impacts to the marine mammals, you know, in the vicinity of the projects. In partnership, you know, with environmental constituencies and NGOs and scientists from around the world who have basically designed what they believe will be the best ways to mitigate impacts. After wrapping up construction in Martha's Vineyard, Orion's next U.S. destination will be Virginia, where it's slated to install 176 turbine foundations for a project backed by Dominion Energy. The building of those turbines will take place from 2024 to 2025 during a specifically designated spring to fall window to avoid overlapping with the migration season for endangered North Atlantic right whales. Thanks for watching. In this time of media mistrust, Straight Arrow News is on a mission to bring you unbiased, fact-based reporting. So like and subscribe to Straight Arrow News below. And to see all of our content, go to straightarrownews.com.